All right, back at it again with another test. I got four panels on here, okay? One, two, three, and four. And I have the sunlight, it's shining. I'm gonna have the solar cables connected up here. And this is gonna be straight to the plug here without any kind of extension wire. And I'm just gonna do a reading to see what kind of power that I'm getting first. Okay, here we go. So I have the four wires all connected up in series and it is connecting up and it is peaking up at, looks to be about 196. Hmm, okay, so that's interesting. Okay, I did some readjusting of the panels so that there's no shading on there. Now it's at 333 is the peak. Okay, so I'm gonna unplug this and then connect two of these power cables here, these extension cables here, and see what kind of power that I'm gonna get this time. And just a heads up, these are 12 gauge wires here. It's a 20 foot one, so it's got quite a bit of length to add on to. And it's climbing up, it should climb up here in a second. It takes a minute for solar to kick in. Okay, there it goes. So it's at 328, so not 331, not that much of a drop off from the two in comparison. Okay, so for my second test, I got 15 amp ones. These ones are from Renogy, I believe. I'll put the exact line in the product description in the box below, but I'm gonna put this now and try to see what kind of power readings I'm gonna get from here. Just to do a little comparison. Let's see, it says it's at 56% right now. So 15 gauge, okay? This is going through solar of 20 foot wire. Takes a minute for the volts, the watts to kick in here, it goes. This is at 325, 327, 328. So it looks like 329, it's going up again. The highest I'm seeing is about 329. So not that much of a difference compared to the other wire solutions. All right, so it's been a few hours now. I'm gonna see what kind of a uh, power charge I have on my generator after leaving it in the sun this long. Okay, it says it's at 90% charge with 207 watts pumping into there. The sun has moved over to the right a little bit, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna cut it right here and leave it at that 90% charge. It went from 56 to 90. That's a good amount of charge. So that's what I wanna just keep in mind and realize that whether it's a 14 or a 10, it's not gonna drop off that much power and it's still gonna work to keep the power charged with a 20 foot line like this. You know, later on, I'll try a test where I'm connecting two of these 20 foots and see how much of a drop off that's going to be bringing. But I don't think it's going to be bringing that much of a drop off. It'll still charge up 